Thank you once again for joining us at Performance Product Technologies. Today's video is going to address the subject of marine engine repowering. So we're going to start out here by going to the technical library. And the third category down is called marine engines and repowering topics. And then the first article within this category is called repowering options. So I'm going to have you select that. And we're going to go down to step one, which is understanding your options regarding the new 2010 EPA rules. If you'll select the read more link here, I'm not going to go through all of this information in detail, but essentially the EPA began regulating marine engine repowers back in 2010. And there's about six different options which can affect uh, just about all makes and models. So without going through all of these in general, uh, basically the best way to, to summarize it is that anything is new is going to be regulated to some degree. If it's a brand new complete drop-in motor, then typically they're going to have to be catalyzed and different manufacturers get regulated differently, so you have to check into that. And then the second option is going to be... Uh, tied to the long blocks and there's going to be a difference between remanufactured versus new. Essentially the remanufactured long blocks get a pass because the, the long block is considered to have been out into service before the legislation came into play so it doesn't get addressed the same way. So I would recommend taking a little bit of time reading this. We put a lot of time and effort into this and addressed uh, how it complies to the different manufacturers and basically what all of your options are at that point. The next step is going to be understanding the terminology. Once you open the read more link you'll see this gets into engine rotation and then this is where you're going to see the different options between a long block, a good written description of what that term refers to, a power package, a bobtail marine engine also known as a turnkey drop-in and then a complete package stern drive versus inboard uh, transom assembly transmissions and all of those related uh, options step three is going to be determining your model configuration this is where uh, you can find uh, support information that helps identify the difference between an inboard versus an inboard outboard versus stern drive, uh, inboard versus V drive, and uh, all of those different variations. And then last but not least is step four, which is determining your product's age and serial number. And if you'll go to that link, you will see where the casting block number is located and this is a General Motors block here and this would be for long block uh, repowering and typically doesn't matter too much on drop-ins also you can see the Mercruiser serial tag is located here as well uh, so that helps identify the year uh, specifically when it was manufactured and so forth now once we know what options are available uh, what our budget will allow we can go in and start comparing some prices and see how they um, all compare. So typically the, the most cost effective option is a long block. So if we go to the long block category, we can look at remanufactured long blocks versus new long blocks. Typically the difference between new and remanufactured is going to be price. They, they generally range, uh, the remanufactured is about $500, typically less than the new long blocks. The new long blocks come with a one-year parts and labor warranty, whereas the remanufactured products come with a two-year. Uh, from our perspective, the uh, failure rates are very, very similar. They're both very low. We don't find that the new long blocks are uh, measurably better than the remanufactured long blocks. Typically, the reason the remanufactured long blocks have a longer warranty is more of a marketing issue. The reality is that if there is a warrantable service issue with either one of these products, it's typically going to show up in the first 60 to 90 days of operation. So having the warranty for an additional year doesn't really make too much difference. 
typically new long box will come with the tinware such as the oil pan and valve covers and so forth so there is some comparison there where you can uh, look at how much time and it, it would take to move that uh, hardware over from the replacement engine or the engine that's being replaced um, and basically the condition of that so once you know that then you can also look at power pack engines here and power packs or power packs which you will see have have reviewed in the uh, terminology section this basically refers to an engine that is a long block and they're all going to uh, have a different variety of components but uh, typically it's going to be the fuel and ignition system and as you can see there's uh, performance options as well as standard replacements the power packages are a really nice option because uh, they allow you in some cases for instance with this uh, 5.7 liter engines here that particular product allows you to upgrade from the pre-Vortec models of 1995 and earlier you can upgrade to the current Vortec style which is a higher horsepower rating so essentially this product is going to have the intake manifold, the fuel system, the electrical system, basically all of the components that you could not reuse from your 95 and earlier uh, product on a newer block so it allows you an upgrade path a little more expensive but it, it does include a considerable amount of additional hardware that you wouldn't get if you just purchased a block therefore after you've gone through and you've uh, evaluated options and you said well the the reman long block is the most cost effective but I'd like something with a little more content so you evaluated the power package and decided that uh, based on cost you'd like to compare how much a bobtail or a turnkey drop-in motor would cost you can go to that category and here you can look at different options now one thing to point out on all of these uh, drop-in bobtails these are Mercruiser manufactured they are a remanufactured long block with all new accessories so the cooling system fuel exhaust and uh, uh, accessory drive system so forth is all new Mercruiser hardware so essentially this comes with the same warranty that the new product comes with but the reason they can do this without having uh, catalyst equipment on them because they're using a remanufactured long block that kind of gets that waiver because the EPA is considering that that block was already accounted for in service before the regulation came out so these products Mercruiser it, they go through the the normal Mercruiser warranty they're a great option for repowering they fit identically to the way the old ones uh, the engines that they're replacing fit in they've tried to maintain the same harness connections and so forth and Mercury typically offers some pretty good warranty incentives uh, they've been offering if you notice a special offer for the plus series engines they offer uh, an additional two years of warranty coverage at no additional cost so essentially you get a three-year warranty with them so this is a great option as well therefore just to summarize in closing here we started off by going to the technical library and going through the marine engines and repowering topics section and repowering options we went through and looked at the four steps you need to evaluate when you start the process understanding the EPA rules terminology what model you have and the age of it we then went to the long block category and actually looked at product and started out with the most cost effective of being a remanufactured long block then to the new long block then to the power package which contains ignition and fuel system and then from that point we went to the highest uh, or most uh, pricey option however it does come with some other benefits uh, additional warranty and, and all new systems so really it just comes down to uh, basically what condition the engine is that you're replacing today and the accessories that are on that engine if all of your accessories are in good shape then the long block may be the way to go if the engine is quite old and your exhaust system cooling system and so forth has quite a bit of time on it then a drop-in bobtail might be the best option 
once again, we thank you for your business. We thank you for following us on YouTube. And just feel free to let us know if you have any specific questions or need any technical direction. We would be happy to help you out. Thanks and have a great day.